Well, it's a happy day and a sad day in the same exact moment. So this is the video that you guys have all been waiting for, my official apartment tour, MTV crib style. We're gonna be going through everything. And I waited till the last moment to do this apartment tour. I've lived in this apartment for two years and I am now moving out in two days. And I decided, hey, I still have not done an apartment tour. And you guys have commented tons of times over the last two years on TikTok and Instagram, just wanting an apartment tour. And so I figured, hey, we got two Two days, I cleaned the place up a little bit as good as I could because I'm starting to pack stuff already. And I was like, you know what? We need to finally do the apartment tour. And this video is mainly for me because I'm gonna miss this place. This is gonna be the last time that I ever live alone. Freshman year, I was in the dorms at Winona State. Sophomore year, I lived in a pretty crappy house with some buddies, which you kind of do in college. And then I got this place. I was supposed to live in a house with some more friends that ended up not working out. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll just live by myself. So I live above a coffee shop in downtown Winona. I've loved this place. Since moving in, I've grown my sneaker collection. I've grown my sneaker content from just handheld stuff to full Sony camera with gimbal, microphone, lighting, everything. I've gotten a gauge since moving in here. Graduated college now. I've gotten a new job doing social media content. So my life has drastically changed since moving into this place. And I think that this place has had a big part in that. And it's been a great journey. I'm finally moving into an apartment with my fiance that we're getting married in a couple of months. So I'm very excited about that next step in life. But this is a closing segment on this chapter in life. And I feel like with the content, I'm just starting. Been going for about three years now, but I really truly feel like, hey, I'm just starting to kind of figure it out. If you want to say, I don't think you'll ever figure it out, but I feel like I'm just starting to kind of find my own way, which is pretty cool. And I think that this place has had a big part in that. And kind of the atmosphere you place yourself in is a big part in kind of what you put out there. And so I wanted to do a final apartment tour. It's going to be pretty casual. I don't have anybody else to help me film this. I'm going to start back there and we're going to be talking about everything in my apartment. So starting up here in the front, I'm going to be talking about, sorry, the lighting's kind of bad. So right when you walk in, you get my door, hang my keys there. This has been something that I've gotten since I moved down here. I got a new bike, I got a Trek bike. I put some custom handlebars and some pedals on it. This is my old desk that I'm getting rid of. But I got this bike. There's a great route around the lake to a little 10 mile loop that I've really enjoyed. I'm gonna go for a bike right after I film this. Everything else, fridge, nothing interesting in there. Coffee maker has been huge. A lot of energy, a lot of videos edited with the coffee maker. I gotta show this off. So this rug is actually the side patch for my hat. My first hat drop, here's the hat. Here's the side patch. I got this done by Ruggins, I think his name is. So definitely go check him out on Instagram. Pretty cool. I mean, I literally sent him the file and he made me a whole rug. And this rug is, is me standing on it. I mean, it's a big rug. So pretty cool there. Have that custom rug, kind of everything around. I got a kitchen. Got the Tesla Cybertruck up there. Little way of Wade basketball. Art pieces. I've had a ton of different art. I've rearranged my place a ton. Art pieces. This is actually from my fiance's sister. This is a picture I took right when I moved in in the other room, which I'll show you in a little bit. Happy Life Wood. They've been great friends. They've sent me a couple of different prints. Love their stuff over there. And then these are from the studio for the studio I bought these. So pretty cool little artwork. That one's actually crooked, but those will be going in the new place. More artwork here. We got my dudes, my favorite guy. He sent me over a ton of different stuff. This is a Jordan 1 Chicago artwork, which is pretty cool. He does it with shoe boxes, which these are actually Jordan 1 shoe boxes on the side. And then there's some more of his over here. This is from the Cactus Gentleman. I'll show you that pair of shoes in a little bit, but it's a cactus leather Jordan 1 High. That's a custom. And this is actually a painting that was printed out, which is pretty cool. So got that. Got my first couch, big couch purchase. Love this thing. I got it from, well, I don't even love it. I want to get rid of it. It's too short. I'm too big to be sitting in it, but Ikea couch some leather cushions. I got a bunch of tabletop books when I lived here, which really started to like, I haven't even read really any of them, but this is a really cool one that I have. Talking about a bunch of Nike stuff, a bunch of design elements you can see, 3D printed shoes, just a whole bunch of stuff. So different ads and stuff. I did go to school for digital advertising, so it's kind of fitting. 
Nothing special under there, just my MacBook. Xbox, I've bought and sold a few Xboxes since I've been here. At times I've had to sell my Xbox because I was playing it too much, but I finally think I got a good time balance where I can still get stuff done and play occasionally. Play some F1 or some 2K or some Fortnite even, so got the Xbox Series S down there. Legos, a lot of Legos. This is the start, I got the DeLorean. When I lived here in the Porsche was actually one of the first sets I got. Pretty cool set. I got more in the other room. These are my neck face SB dunks. I got these at Sneaker Con Bay Area. They're actually signed by Neckface himself, so pretty cool pair there. Cause Candle, Grid Studios, they just sent me this. It's a Nintendo DS, so it's actually my first game console, and it's fully deconstructed, pretty cool. Shoe holder mics, you guys all know all about those if you watch my TikToks. I got the uh, Travis Scott in the other room. TV, watching a lot of movies there. Lighting, I got a couple of uh, small rig RC120Ds. There's another one, desk has changed a ton since I've lived here. I've had different desks, I've had the same legs. And by the way, if you wanna buy any of this stuff, I have my Amazon affiliate links in the description. So my desk legs, my lighting, camera gear, whatever you wanna purchase on Amazon, I have it all linked below. So you can check that out on my website. And if you wanna get something, get a little kickback and it doesn't cost any extra for you. So this is my desk. I've had it for a couple of years now. Uh, standing legs are adjustable. And then I've gotten different tabletops. This is the Ikea tabletop that I currently have. Tripod, old tripod there. Shoe collection, so this is where it starts to get fun. So Mischief boots, I got the Keto Wear boots right there. Here's the mochas that I drove to Sioux Falls for. Here's the cactus leather, Jordan 1 highs. The wear test, I was doing the wear test when I lived here. Hiked a few bluffs down here, so definitely a cool pair. Shout out to Fist Customs for this pair. Uh, this is a Jordan 1 High, re resembling the protection pack. It's a pretty cool pair there. Yellow toes I got early. The airships that I got for celebrating 100K on Instagram, pretty cool pair there. Asics Hal Studios, these took me six months to find for a good price. Love those, never will get rid of those. Protection pack, where my New Balance love started. Uh, some hidden NY Clarks, cool pair, don't wear them a ton. Just got these, the Soland. SB Dunk Highs, some 450s. Uh, Custom Union High Top. I got these from HVND Studio on Instagram. Go check him out. He's done a few pairs. He did the blue pair and he's doing some wedding shoes as well, but this pair is crazy. Benji's, I've had a few pairs of these. Oldest pair I have in my collection, 1999 Dunk Lows. I got them for like 80 bucks on eBay. These, you probably don't even know, they're Camp U Nike Dunks. Super rare, there's like two Reddit articles on those, I still gotta do a video on those. Bunch of mischief stuff, the regular super normals, the friends and family, never will sell these since I got them for being friends and family, gob stompers, uh, some old military blues, Stranger Things, Cortezes, some other Cortezes, some Monstra plant slides, which you can see my fiance just got me a plant, so pretty cool pair there. I got a couple pairs of those, some sleigh crocs, some, another Lego set. My sister got me this as a grad gift. It's a cactus shoe box, which is pretty cool. She got it on Etsy. Here's the podcast mic setup. Usually I move this to the desk. And that's one of the reasons I'm excited to move is I can finally have a dedicated podcast setup. And if you like this video, I'm gonna be making a whole setting up my sneaker room video in the new office that I have. We got a two bed, two bath, so I got a room for an office. Um, I can do a whole setup there and I'm gonna do a podcast, a little studio and a filming set. So pretty cool there. I'm excited to do a whole series revolving around that. Keeping it going. Super cool clock I got on eBay. I saw a TikTok on it one day and I ended up buying one. I broke the glass off the front of it, but I paid like 40 bucks for it. Pretty cool, I get a lot of compliments about it. Some fake Travis Scott fragments I got up there. I wrote fake on them, I made a TikTok on it. I got a couple million views. When I want to kick sign, this is a custom sign that I paid like 50 bucks for on Instagram. Some TikToker saw it, got a custom one, pretty cool. It's like legit, it's fully metal and everything, which is, Pretty cool. Another candle. Looksy design cases. I'm getting a ton more of these when I move into the new place. Super excited about them. I've worked with them heavily over the last couple of years. This is one of those relationships I've built. Love their stuff. Dropbox, front. It's a pair of shoes that I got from eBay. Bunch of cool stuff. I got a lot of pairs in here. Talking about the pairs, I got the Panda Jordan 1 Highs, black and whites, love those. Metallic reds, Wabi Sabis, super exclusive. Jordan 3 white cement wear test. Some Bayous that I made resembling the ambushes. Addy foams, 
My first Jordans ever, the Jordan 4, what the, some old Cardinals from 06, and then the customs from Tucker Blaint, and I'll put his Instagram in the description. Monster plant, fake plant, Ikea light. Let's go to the other room. Now talking about some of the logistics with this place, I've lived here for two years now. I paid $600 a month in rent. My utilities ended up, and utilities and internet ended up being like a hundred extra dollars. So all in it was 700 bucks. Uh, pretty good for Winona, one bed, one bath, super high ceilings, which was a nice feature. So love that. Uh, yeah, so whoever's moving in here, you're gonna love it. Looking in through the walk area, I got another rug from Ruggins. This one I bought at Sneaker Con. Hanging plant, shout out to my dad for the Masters flag. He went to the Masters in 2022 and got me the flag. Dyson vacuum, love that thing. Bathroom, I don't really need to talk about this. Cool Jordan sign. Here's the second bedroom. This is kind of where it gets out of hand in Sneaker City. So we got some artwork. Shout out to the guy who gave me the artwork. I can't remember his Instagram, but I'll put it in the description. Nightstand that my mom made me. Cool Ikea light, more Legos, like I said, and a couple more light books on sneakers. Pretty simple bed, nothing crazy there. I got a couple bags hanging up for traveling. Let's go look at my other Legos here. Boom. Boom, McDonald's toy from the Travis Scott collab, remember that? Pretty good view outside of the apartment. I mean, it's been it's been solid. You get a lot of really good natural sunlight, which I love. I mean, it's been a great, great deal to have with filming and stuff. Let's talk about the sneakers. Now, I'm not gonna pull everything out just because there's a ton of stuff. Briefly go over it, dunks, Burks, blah, 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 Essence. I might have to do a full sneaker collection. Uh, some of the crazy pairs that I have in here, I got a few pairs of Kizos, the Adams from MKBHD, some Street Hawker Dunks are actually in here, some Clarks, bunch of no two ways pairs, super slept on stuff. I even got some pine green Jordan ones that I have not touched yet. Some crazy slides that I need to do a video on yet. These are the 4D slides from ASICS, so stay tuned for that video. Closet. Bunch of Daniel Liu hats. Shout out to Daniel Liu for being an absolute G. Some Shrine Co. Luggage, Hype Bros hoodie, love that hoodie. Here's like my current like tech setup. I'm planning to get one of those Husky big crates to put all my drone footage, camera gear and everything in there because I think it would be super easy for filming and stuff and just to charge everything. So this is what I currently have. Couple of Ikea things, drone chargers, chargers, clamps, more stuff. Diploma from graduating college, couple lenses, Rollo printer. And honestly, that's about it. So that's my little apartment tour. Uh, pretty casual, I gotta start packing. So I wanna make it kind of quick, nothing crazy. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the sneaker setup tour of the new room. I'm also gonna be restarting the series of you guys submitting your sneaker rooms to me. I'm gonna be rating them because I'm gonna put a lot of work into the next one. So filming studio slash sneaker room slash office podcast studio, whatever you wanna call it. But again, this place has been incredible. Thank you to my landlords. Thank you for, for everything, Winona.